So here is another session of what did I buy today? <laughs> um, yeah, these are just random ones. Some of them I got for five dollars. Other ones I got for two dollars. Some of them I got for a dollar. I was like, you know what? I'm so tired, and I this is my last day. I think of investing. I say that every day. But I look at it like I'm trying to get in early and then I want to walk away for a few months because I'm going on my trip around the world. And then when I come back, I want to be like, oh my God, look at that, you know? It's my strategy. But I'm not a financial advisor. I've only been trading for four months. Do not do anything I do. I'm playing with profits. This is not my hard-earned money. Um, you know, be more conservative if you'd like, but don't invest more than you're willing to lose. You can lose everything in two seconds with crypto. One minute you're up and literally a minute later it crashes. So do not, do not, do not, do not put in anything more than you're willing to lose. Do not put in your paycheck. Do not put in your rent. Do not put in your baby's college fund. Like don't do it. Don't do it. Don't put the down payment on your house down. Don't do it. Don't do it. With that said, let's start. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't do anything I tell you. I'm just telling you what I did. So what I did, <laughs> let me see, command go that way was if you just open up poo coin which is basically they started it because there are things called shit coins which are coins that are like the penny stocks of crypto and you don't know what's going to happen most of them are rug pulls or no good so when you go to poocoin.com i just looked at these the first ones that you see i've already invested in hungry so i'm not going to go over that i went over that a while ago uh soldier is for veterans uh, hungry bear is for bears but i'm sure they're going to do other things um, Caboso, we talked about in another video, but feel free to look it up. And then Poo Coin is this coin. I got it at three dollars. It's up to like ten dollars. I only bought ten shares. I'm not like a fancy person or anything. I'm, I'm a conservative broke person that is just got really lucky and made some money, and now I'm trying to grow that money. So let's get started. Pitbull Classic. I didn't even look this one up to be quite honest. I should have done that before. Command C. So this one has a market cap of 531 million, which means that, you know, like if you look at all these other coins, they have like hundreds of millions. Oh, this is 532,000, sorry. Hundreds of millions, sometimes billions of dollars. Not all coins are going to reach that status, but it's good to look at the market cap. And then these people, like the really good ones, the pros, they look at like their wallets to see how many people own it, what the percentage is. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm, I'm really not trying to go all that. It's just a lot of work for me. Let's, let's try to find it. Pitbull Classic. Oh, it's so cute. I would buy it just because the dog is cute. Fine, I'll put $2 in it. I didn't buy this one. All right, we're going to wait for that to load. Okay. Helicopter Finance. That was also on there. Um helicopterfinance.co exclusive there is nothing oh I looked at this audit solidary finance CEX listing they're, they're not doing anything yet tickets for a first flight are available enter the competition to secure your prize ticket oh flight path copter protocol continuous burn shred it's the same thing that they all they all do the same thing First flight rewards. Yeah, well, we'll see what they're going to do about. It's the same thing. They all do the same thing. So what happens is you get in at this phase, right? This is my strategy. And then you come back a month later and you're like, oh, my God. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Um, Happy snack. I just, did I just get that one? I think I just bought that one. Because it has to do with snakes. And I hate snakes. And I'm not into reptiles. But I figured this market cap is pretty low. Even if I'm just getting in to sell, why not? This is the website, happysnacksnek.com. Um, it says the same thing that they all do. I don't understand why they used a cartoon, but I guess maybe they want to make it look nice. Then they talk about things from like Garden of Eden, Harry Potter, snakes have been around forever. We have to see the snakes and we have to see the reptiles. Here's the address, donating, helping wildlife all over the world. So if you're into that, like the real Tarzan, which is my friend's son, go for it. Um, bruh. 
This has a low market cap as well. Total supply, 17 billion. That's not a lot compared to all the new ones. This is video games. So for you gamers out there, what up gamers? That's not me. All right, powered by the band name Smart Chain, digital marketplace to trade digital or physical goods and services. Maybe I should buy more of this one. Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to keep that open because I want to look at it. Roadmap. They put some effort into the site. Layer 4 Alpha. No idea what that means. Uh, layers 2 and 3, marketing and promotion. Okay, whatever. This is cute. I like it. I might put a little bit more in here. Because the gaming ones, they tend to do pretty well. I mean, not all of them. There's just so many of them. There's so many. They're all NFTs. Black Doge. I don't know why, but every time I see this, it reminds me of, like, Black Twitter. <laughs> I just don't know why. Um, is he annoyed? Perplexed? Is he simply smiling? Looking for some Black Doge. Okay, so it's cute. Buy on Pancake Swap. You need to stop. This is just ridiculous. Lock liquidity, blah, blah, blah. Say no to racism. Okay, Black Doge matters. <sighs> I'm not saying anything. If you've seen my other videos, I'm I'm not saying anything. I get, I get so mad when people use the marketing concepts to like sell things. It just irritates me. Orfano.io. I just like the Banksy thing. Uh, unique rug pull proof. I like looking to benefit the lives of orphans in the poorest country. I just put $2 in here. I was like, whatever. I'm just, we'll see what happens. I just don't even get me started with orphans. But yeah, take a look. Orfano.io. O-R-F. Well, it's right here. Orfano.io. Uh, Subex we went over yesterday, I think, but I can't remember. Startupboost.app is the page and it's basically an app to help people with startups and donate to startups and I like this because I want to actually apply for a donation um Pitbull Classic we did that wait what was it about I forgot that's not good oh we didn't look at it uh Pitbull Classic I got reg the regular Pitbull a while ago when Torin Hoffman talked about it. Um, token supply, hodlers. I should actually go to Canada and interview him. Um, initial burn. Da, da, da. Okay. There's nothing special about that. I have no idea. That brings revolutionary mechanism to BSC ecosystem. Make some profits, but I, I just, just don't understand what this is doing. Contract, price chart, telegram. Yeah, okay, so I'm not investing in that one. Let's skip to this one. Safe Nebula Finance. It comes out in three days. Just want to give you guys a heads up. Safe Nebula Finance. Three days if you want to get in early. Do not do, I mean, you do whatever you want. I don't do DX sales because, well, the pre-sale is in, in on the 18th and the regular sales on the 24th. I'll probably get in, I already have this one, I think. I don't know how I got it, but I did get it. Um, I just copied somebody's link. It might not even be the real link to this thing. Let's see what happens if we click this. Nothing. Okay. So, I hope I have it. I think I have this one. Oh, there's a contract address. We'll find out. So, anyways, take a look. There's a pre-sale and a sale but there's a contract address. This one I got screwed on. I bought it and it doesn't exist anymore. It actually ended in March. It's because I didn't do my research. So do your due diligence, do your research. Don't just do what everybody does. Don't just buy what everybody buys. Don't click on addresses and links like I do because I'm just careless and reckless right now. Um, and I'm just really trying to get my slingshot move going on. But most people are not that carefree. I'm more of like a hippie. So... I put in $5 and I lost my $5 rest in peace. But yeah, somebody got it. Somebody got my money. And then when you try to go to the website, it's archived. So you never know. Sometimes these things make a resurgence, but I highly doubt it. 
this is the one that I wanted to tell you. So I did a video on this a while ago when it first came out and it's titled NFT art in one of my videos. And when you look at that website, it is so ratchet and not cute. But look at this one. They've come a long way and you can join the beta. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Visual art, audio apps. I love this. The token, blah, blah. It's, it's actually coming together. Enter art, enter audio. You know, this is, this is impressive. I put some money into this. I put like 50 or 80 bucks or something like that. I, I believed in it when I first heard about it. And I'm so happy I did because I like the way this looks. But they're all going to look like this. Everybody's doing NFTs. So when you click beta, it's an application if you're an artist. So for all you artists out there, you have kids that are artists or friends that are artists. Joselle, if you're watching this, you know, you can basically put your music NFTs. You can create music. Put the NFT on there. Oh, that's my dad. Um, I'll call it that. And and sell it. You can sell it. You can sell, but you're selling everything. You're selling the rights, the music, all of it. That person gets to own it, do whatever they want with it, use it in video games, use it in whatever they want to do. So for all you starving artists out there, you don't have to be starving anymore. Uh, Wall Street Bets. I bought this wine. This was also, I made a video about this, I think. No, I didn't. I talked about it. I, it was a ratchet page, but now it's looking pretty good. Um, everybody said that this wasn't real. I have to check to make sure that I bought the real one, but I'm pretty sure I did because I think I got it from this website. Um, and with no taxes or limitations, you can move your tokens anywhere to anyone with no penalties. Making fun of Robin Hood. Um, it's a non deflationary token, blah, blah. True frictionless trading. Wall Street, the first big Wall Street burning giveaway updates. That was May 9th. Wall Street bet crypto coin has joined us. So I guess there's another one. Listings. They don't have a lot. It doesn't have a very high market cap. I mean, I put in, every time I put in $5, I only got like 200 or something like that, I think. I could be wrong. Something like that. I got a low number, but it wasn't a lot. Like I had to buy four or five times because the market cap was so low and because um, they don't have that much in supply compared to like the other stuff. I have no idea what you're going to do with the coin. Let's go look at the white paper. Wall Street bets coin. It's cute. Security stability. Somebody took it seriously. Blockchain. Ooh, blockchain. Advocate. Yeah. Da -da -da. Bitcoin versus all coin. Current issues that must be solved. Mm, solution. Okay, let's look at 9 and 11. And uniqueness. Mm, oh, well, let's go see real quick. Well, she is a vehicle for providing all three of the above. Proof of work, proof of stake. Utility or governance. Okay, whatever. Decentralized, ASIC, FGA. I don't understand this stuff. Electronic signaling to be conducted on the validity, blah, blah, blah. All right, I mean, read this if you guys want to read it. Let's just go to 9 and 10 because that's what I wanted to see. 9. Centralized exchanges have, exchanges have requirements for the identification and storage of identifying valuables. Other than being inherent part of our system, prone and error due to the banking exchange and information required, blah, blah, blah. Solution. Uses an immutable transaction record. This is basically what all blockchain does. That's blockchain. They basically defying blockchain. I hate it when they do that. Participant alignment with no set exchange rate transaction. So they're basically trying to be an actual currency. Mm -hmm. It was designed for high security environments and achieves this with many different methods. Okay, this that's different to form these combo key kind of because. Pedersen commitment cryptography. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just sticking in it. I'm going to stay and see what happens. Safe from fans. This is another one that I bought only because I was on the thing that tracks my tokens and I kept putting a safe one and it wouldn't pop up, but this did. And I was like, well, if this is popping up, it must be vetted. It must be good. I bought it and then like the next day, it's not there anymore. I'm like, this shit. 
There's nothing. So it's another $5 or $10 I got scammed out of. But whatever. I mean, like, I made it back. <laughs> I'm not, like, upset. But they're still talking, though. Like, their website may be down, but they're still talking. Still change the lives. What is this? It doesn't really say much, right? And the last tweet was, that's not it, April 27th, which isn't that long ago. And that's for the address. But like, are you guys still around? Oh, people don't like caps. I was just doing a spreadsheet. Are you guys still around? What's up with your website? <laughs> um, all right, so let's do that. And then, so I, what I did is on Trust Wallet, I took all the transactions under BNB and I put them on a, a Word document because I needed to put them there first. And then I created an Excel document. I could have just probably, no, because I had to transfer it from the app to something. This is just another one that's coming out. Oh, it's, it's, it's already, oh, I'm going to buy this one then. This was pre-sale, but I guess it's ready to go. Ambition plan, ambitious plans to build a base on the southern pole of the moon. Um, yeah, okay, sure. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one. Screw it, I'll put $2 in. And then Keanu Eno, I've heard a lot about this one. And I actually wanted to see what, what it was all about. I love Keanu Reeves. He's so hot, I don't care how old he is, he's hot. Um, Keanu Eno is a fully decentralized peer-to-peer -peer digital currency. I just want to make sure that this is still recording. Yeah. I, I actually tried to buy this because Ethereum fees are crazy. So I set my Ethereum fees to like $8. It was supposed to be like a hundred bucks. I was like, yeah, absolutely not. No. So it's been like trying to buy this for two days. I don't think it's going to buy it, but if it does awesome, because I'm not paying these crazy Ethereum fees, go suck it. I bought like $8 worth of it and I put an $8 fee. I was like, I am not. I don't know why they can't figure out how to do this without charging so much money. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, look at the little dog. Um, there's the address. These are just monetary goals. Yeah, so everybody's talking about this one. I actually have to see how that's going. Bonfire token. I actually did something about this. I just wanted to see what was going on if they updated the page. Nope. It's one of these ratchet pages that first come out and you're like, what do they do? Oh, nothing. Okay. Supposedly it's going to be something. Seraphim, this is coming out. Just wanted to let you guys know. Seraphim, this word, dot tech is a website. You guys can look it up. And I'm out. Let me close this. Pap Mobile. I think I talked about this yesterday, but I can't remember if I spoke about this at all. Mm, it's basically, it sounds like an uh, international mobile application. Basically for users of the world, which is me because that's what I do. I'm a world traveler, so I I need really good service. It used to be AT&T, and then for some reason, one December, all of the AT&T 7s turned off. I don't know if you guys remember that scenario. Um, and I had to get a new phone and in doing so they canceled my plan and I had to get the new $50 all included plan. I wanted to pay more. I was like, I'll pay more for the better service. And they're like, no, everybody's being streamlined into this. And my service has never been the same. I might switch, but we'll see how it works. Paps core. Okay. You read this. I don't want to do this today. I want to read it, but not with you guys. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Fine. Let's go. Uh, all our marketing PR activities are now operating, blah, blah, blah. Confirmation, okay. They're so, this is pretty, it reminded me of me when I was an assistant. Rebranding all 
tap assets, forging into corporate partnerships. Well, maybe they should. Hey, if you guys want to give me a phone and I can test your service out and I can YouTube about it, holla. Somebody told me about Scooby. I bought Scooby. It wasn't this one. So, no, it was this one. So there's Scooby Finance, which is the one that I got. And then there's Scooby something else. So when you look it up, you like, which one do I do? The, in the beginning right now, you could pop, you could find a coin based on what people tell you. But as time progresses, you're going to have like 15 of the same coin. It's going to be so hard to figure out. So there's the Scooby Dooby coin. I don't know what it does. I just, you know, Richie Rich, Scooby Doo, all of these like youthful cartoons and things that relate to me. I'll buy it. I'm a sucker. Um... We'll be able, that's only because I'm playing with the profits, guys. If it was my money, I would be I would be making very different choices. But I'm not going to tell you what those choices are because I'm not a financial advisor. And I don't want you doing what I do because that's I'm not a financial advisor. So then there's a Scooby token, which I don't know what this is. Um, from the owners of Net Loop, NFT Lupa. Oh. Oh, NFT. I, I was thinking NFL. I was like, football? Uh, more NFT people. I mean, I don't know. That's there. ScoobyToken.com. Then this is a contract. Oh, no, the website Scooby.Finance. It's not there, so I don't know if that website is even legit. But I put $5 in. Full send, I put a few dollars in. There's, like, nothing on here. I think if you go to their Telegram, you'll see more. The white paper is not even ready yet. Is it? I'm pretty sure this just says the same stuff that they all say. I think we did this yesterday. Anyways, you guys can read this if you want. Olympus. For specific limit price. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. For crypto noobs. Oh, yeah. What is a rug pull? That's good for you guys to know. It's a manipulation tactic used by large institutions that have capital to affect your share price. You will sometimes see a very large order waiting to be filled at a specific limit price. This level will act as support or resistance, but sometimes this massive order will suddenly disappear and the price will rise or fall accordingly. That's why you could like lose everything in two seconds, literally, literally, literally. So crypto is a gamble. What is pump and dump? You can read all this. This is cool. I mean, at least they're educating you. For anybody who wants the basics of crypto, I would go to their website and look up the white paper. Okie dokie, full send. Their website is fullsendcrypto.net and look up the white paper if you want to get some education on crypto if you're a newbie. Uh, this one, I don't think I bought that. I bought one called Slips and I was trying to find out what it is, right? And I found this, but I don't think this is what it is. But if it is, I'm happy. Since you bought yam, sushi, and spaghetti, how about a project designed not to pull the rug out of you? Okay, whatever. It looks like NFTs for sports. So I'm actually going to see if I could buy this because those tend to do pretty well. But I don't see Telegram. Oh, that's Discord. Twitter. Home. Welcome to Slips Rocket Championship. Okay. Are you here to learn more about cryptocurrency? No. I want to learn about your cryptocurrency. Showtime breakdown, unscripted. Team locker room. I mean, this is this is a lot. You guys can do all this. This is too much for me. And then I was looking up the benefits of ginseng. So that's all I have for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, bye.